It was the first presidential election held on Somali soil since the overthrow of Siad Barre's regime in 1991, and this election lived up to the billing. 25 candidates battled it out for the presidency, but in the end, Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud was declared the winner and new president of Somalia. The academician had won over the majority of Somalia's MPs. He got 190 votes, beating former President Sheikh Sharif Sheikh Ahmed, who emerged second with 79 votes. A new Somalia slowly took shape at the Mogadishu Police Academy, where the elections were held. The elections were peaceful and orderly, and were held under tight security, but the polls were also dramatic, politically speaking. The then President Sheikh Sharif Sheikh Ahmed won the first round of polls after garnering 64 votes, while Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud got 60, with the other candidates trailing the duo. The MPs and candidates took a break before the second round of polling that pitted the top four candidates against each other. But two candidates, Abdelkader Osoble and former Prime Minister Abdiweli Mohamed, dropped out of the race at that stage. That left Hassan and Sheikh Sharif to battle it out in the final round of voting. Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud. And when the final tally was out, Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud, the renowned academician, became the clear outright winner. <laughs> with 190 votes against Sheikh Sharif's 79 votes, Somalia had a new president. It was late in the night, but officials were not taking chances. Immediately, President Sheikh Sharif Sheikh Ahmed conceded defeat and pledged his support for the newly elected president. Somalia's new president, Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud, was sworn in. Pledged to revive Somalia's fortunes through improved leadership and reforms, including those targeting the judiciary. The just concluded presidential elections are a first major step towards reviving Somalia's fortunes. Abdi Osman, Citizen TV, Mogadishu, Somalia.